This is going to be an adventure. <laughs> So at six o'clock in the morning, the adventure begins. Today we're going to kite boat around the Isle of Wight. It's never been done before. Um, been eyeing it up for years now, but just never lined up the right conditions and there's always a reason not to do it. But this morning, today, we're gonna go for it. Um, forecast has upgraded a little bit. It's now saying possibly 25, even 30, 35 knots, but I don't think it'll be quite that windy um, and a little bit of rain but the tides are actually perfect so if all goes well we'll get around before then we're just about to leave hailing island and we're going to tow the kite boat in swan song my sailing boat all the way to the isle of wight and we're going to start from benbridge um, so it should take us about an hour and a half to get to Benbridge and then probably six to eight hours going around. Came out last night and loaded up all the supplies. Well actually firstly we brought the Hobie Cat up about five miles with the outboard on it. It was cruising at like eight knots so it goes pretty well. <laughs> nervous but having to be confident to instill in the boys <laughs> right so it's seven o'clock in the morning we're making pretty good time towards Benbridge on the Isle of Wight um, it's about six miles across so it's gonna take us about an hour to get there we're going into the wind it's already about 15-20 um, knots so we're just debating whether we go on the 15 meter ghost v2 or the 10 meter machine um, I guess if it gets up to like 30 knots, it might get a little bit hairy on the 15 metre. Um, and we haven't done a whole lot of testing slash none in that kind of wind, so um, don't really want a line to break because uh, I'd prefer not to have to do a kite change, so we might take 10. <laughs> So we just moored up in Benbridge and it's about quarter past eight. So quick bake in Sarnie, get suited up and go. It's already a good 20 knots. It's gonna get quite windy later. So it's not a race. We're just going for the completion. You know, it's never been done before. It's a bit, a bit scary, but we're going for it. Okay, we're officially ready to go. We've got two kites, bars, food, watch, safety equipment. Boys are all loaded up. It's nine o'clock. Let's go. Let's go, yeah. Woo. Butterflies and anxiety is real. Once we get going, it'll be fine. It's just that first bit when you set off. I love it, but also gets the ticket going. Yeah. All good. Yeah. Off we go. It's 10 o'clock, a little bit later than planned. Yeah. But there's always a lot of faffing. Alright, we're ready. Alright, so it's good, we're ready. Right, you ready, lads? Yeah. Okay, Off we go. Alright, let's drive. Yeah. Give it some. Keep going around! <laughs> 
This is going to be an adventure. <laughs> Cows. 
20 kilometers an hour right now. We're flying downwind with the tide as well. So with any luck, we'll be having a cup of tea in about two hours. <laughs> Sorry, that um, cup of tea. So we've officially been on the boat for seven hours. <laughs> We made it back on dry land. We made it back to where we started and the sun finally comes out after seven hours, wait, seven and a half hours. We had seven hours of rain and squally conditions. <laughs> and we get back and the sun comes out. We did a, almost a hundred kilometers, like 90 kilometers. Just woken up, it is seven o'clock in the morning and a glorious day. Ended up just passing out last night, we were absolutely shattered. We spent eight hours on the kite boat. We did a hundred kilometers or like 97 kilometers. But my watch froze, so I had to stop and restart the activity. Um, we hit a top speed of 17 knots and average around 10 or 12 knots for most of the day. In short, it was brutal. It was um, really hard work. We definitely learned a lot from it. There's a few modifications we need to make. The steering is tricky because there's so much leverage. I think we just need one tiller. Um, but looking on the map, we got so close. We basically did the distance to get round. We just needed like another hour or two of tide window to get round the needles. When we got to Hearst Castle, we were just going into the tide and we've had four hours of brutal upwind slogging of just getting smashed in the face by waves um, holding on for dear life so by the time we got to Hearst Castle and hit the tide coming against us we just couldn't take any more and in hindsight it was the right decision because it would have been at least two hours fighting the tide to get round the needles and then we would have been in bigger waves you know bigger surf more consequence um, when we were super tired so Annoyingly, we were so close, but also quite far away um, from getting round. So definitely, yeah, learn a lot from it. Um, and it means we'll have to come and do it again, <laughs> but maybe make a few modifications first. But now it's time for a quick breakfast and sail home. Let's go. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.